will be your nieces, your cousins. That is what your family is going to say about you, that you fought tooth and nail to get us to where we are today. And they will have nothing but thanks to give to you. What's up, CEO Boss Chicks? Hello, CEO, boss chicks, trendsetters, and women of God. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Shantae Wissanot, and on this channel, we help equip Christian women to be impactful leaders in business and in the kingdom of God. For today's video, this is a prophetic word that God gave me a while ago, and the word is simply, this ain't going to be for everybody. Again, take every word to the Holy Spirit. But for some of you, you have been in a place where God has given you a really big idea, like the idea idea or the vision that he gave you is big. For a lot of people, I'm feeling it towards business, but for some people, it's ministry too. God has given you this crazy idea that seems impossible to do. It seems like in your current state, in your current mindset, the way that your income is, the way that your finances is, the way that you live in life right now, it just seems like you know that God can do all things and it's possible, but you're not really fully getting the vision that he's giving you. And for some people, I true God wanted to convey to you that you are partially right. And what does that mean? That means for some of you, the reason that God gave you such a big vision to work towards and it seems like you'll never be able to accomplish it in your lifetime is because God has given you a vision of what you are going to try and start setting up for your kids. You are handing down something to your children. You are building the ministry now so that way when your kids take over, your kids is what is going to get that vision to the complete vision that you saw when you were 40 and when your kids take over the vision that you thought it is going to be impossible for me to do this it, you are partially right it's not that it's impossible for it to be done but you were just starting phase one two three four and five when your kids take over your kids are going to be able to get that vision to exactly what you were seeing and at the time that God gave gave it to you, you wasn't understanding how am I going to get this done and people prophesying you that you're going to be this kind of person and your ministry is going to have this and you're going to have that and you're like, God, this seems like too much. And God said, there's a lot of moving parts to come with this vision. Again, we prophesy in part. There are things that God gives to us in pieces. So he has not given you the full picture because he wants you to move in trust. He wants you to move in faith in him. So do not get discouraged when you see a crazy vision that you're like, okay, people keep saying that my my ministry one day is going to do this and this. People keep saying that my, my business one day is going to do this and this. I have this vision in my head of my company doing such and such. That seems like crazy to me. I'm 50 years old. How in the world am I going to accomplish that? God says you are going to get the process started and your children or your grandchildren is going to finish it. You are going to start the process of developing generational wealth in your family, but that process cannot begin until you begin. What you are doing is you are setting up chain reactions. You are setting up domino effects. How many people know that maybe if they would have grew up in a different environment, maybe their life would have been a little different. Maybe if their parents would have made did some things the right way, the way God told them to, maybe they wouldn't have went through as much stuff as they went through. But you know what? Nobody's perfect. People make mistakes. It is going to be the same thing with you. There are things that I need you to listen to me. There are things that your children and your grandchildren and your great grandchildren can avoid. There are going to be things that is going to be more than possible for them to avoid if you do what you what God has told you to do. If you pursue the business that God has told you to pursue. For some of you, it's just as simple as you getting things started. Because I watched my father dabbled in entrepreneurship growing up and having 
having fish fries and having a candy business. That's what got my mind going at such a young age. My father had no idea that me watching him selling candy from the house was going to turn into me being a published author three times. It was going to turn into me being a life coach and a public speaker and a CEO. But dad got it started and I continued on with the vision. It is going to be the same thing with you. You do not want your children to go through things in life because of your disobedience. And I'm not just saying this is to you. This is something that I have to say to myself as I'm getting things done. God is saying there's a lot that I'm going to experience, but a lot of it I am also setting up for my children. There are some things that ministry need to be set up so that way I can have my children to not be able to go through the things that their grandparents and what I went through growing up. That's what you want to do. You want to set up a legacy for your children. You want to set up a legacy for your grandchildren that they can look back and say, my grandmother did all she could to help me and my mom. Your kids are going to look back and say, my mom did everything she could to get us out of that neighborhood. She followed God. She sacrificed and she did everything she could. And because of my mom's sacrifices, that's why I'm a multimillionaire. Because of my mom's sacrifices, that's why I'm an apostle. That's why I'm a prophetess. Because of what my mom did, my mom cried and she sold. She didn't even know what she was doing. She didn't know why she was going through all of this. All she knew was with the vision that God gave her and that she went through it and she did it. And now because of my mom's sacrifices, my mom obedience, this is why I am here. And that is what your kids and your grandkids, even your nieces and nephews, for some of you that don't have children, maybe some of you don't have kids and grandkids you can hand stuff down to. It will be your nieces, your cousins. That is what your family is going to say about you, that you fought tooth and nail to get us to where we are today. And they will have nothing but thanks to give to you because of your obedience. They're not going through hard times because the tears you cried, your daughter will never have to cry the tears that you cried, but you have to sow and you have to continue to work. And I don't want some of you to get in your mindset that you're never going to see the fruit of your label or you're going to see the fruit of your labor is just that the full vision of what God has for the ministry and may not fully happen yet until your kids take over. So don't get stressed out over the full vision. Just follow God and God will lead you down the path. Sometimes the vision seems overwhelming is because you're only supposed to start parts of it and your children is supposed to finish the rest of it. Just get the process started. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I pray this video was able to speak to you. I pray that the Holy Spirit confirmed something to you that maybe I said to you before, or maybe it gave you some revelation, okay? I love you guys. Remember to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you can be notified of every single time that I post. Check out my website if you have not. Check out my blogs. Check out the um, CEO Sp um, Spotify podcast that we have. That's really Really great to get you in the mindset of entrepreneurship if you have trouble of thinking as an entrepreneur at this point, okay? I love you guys. Remember, it's CEO, Boss Chick Metali time, baby. Let's go.